Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ajoa and in this video, I want to talk about Vogue Patisserie from Paris Corner, which is the latest flanker in the Vogue line. And this is going to be the only flanker of the Vogue line that I have. I have nothing in that line, which includes the Vogue Elegante, the Vogue Oud. I think there are about six or five of them, you know, but this is the only one I have. And I'm so happy with this fragrance. I'm so excited I got this you know, fragrance. It's been likened to Italica, which is a fragrance. I have no idea how it smells, but it's been highly praised, you know, over the last couple of years. A lot of people seem to love Italica. Um, claim it's one of the best Gourmet scents ever. I think I like this, you know, I love this fragrance and I, would, I wouldn't say it is the best Gourmet scent ever, but I love this scent, you know. And when you look on Paris Corners, you know, um, Instagram, I think the note structure they provided are tangerine, cardamom, saffron at the, at the top. It has rose apple milk in the middle and then vanilla and sandalwood at the base. That is the note structure they gave, you know. But when I smell this, I really don't get that tangerine apple they, 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 they claim is part of the note structure. But when you look on um, Fragrantica, for example, and you search for Italica, it includes a lot of almond milk saffron vanilla toffee sandalwood milk and then cedar so i sort of want to go with that you know no structure because what i get from this fragrance gives me more of the the no structure i find on fragrantica although paris corner say they they have incorporated tangerine and then apple in this fragrance you know but i don't get apple i don't get um tangerine you know there's a citric element to, to this but it's not tangerine if anything at all it is more of a mandarin sort of citric touch you know and this fragrance is called vo patisserie i hope i'm pronouncing it well and when i look for the meaning of patisserie it says a pastry shop that specializes in pastries and sweets so it's supposed to smell like the pastry shop in simple terms, I can just describe this fragrance as an almond milk cookie. It doesn't smell like anything cake or any other sort of you know, pastry, but cookies. It's like freshly baked cookies. It is quite a straightforward fragrance. It doesn't have a lot of intricacies with lots of, you know, changing direction and drying up and smelling like this and smelling like that. It is quite linear. The one cookie this fragrance reminds me of is Magvetis Rich Tea. You know, that rich tea with that um, rich tea, the ordinary ones that we know from Magvetis, that is exactly what I get from this one. There is something light and fluffy and airy about this. And that is the same association I have with rich tea, which is a very light cookie with that... Um, play doh wish you know vibe to it this one doesn't give me that almondy play doh vibes per se as for example what i get in um shagaf utonka that is much more plasticky play doh synthetic this one is not synthetic the almond here is not bitter it's not you know dense and strong as and bitter as shagaf utonka for example this one is like a, a sweetened up almond but not like overly sweet too you know so it's not artificial it is not synthetic. There's no synthetic play doh um, sort of vibes to it. It is just a simple, sweet, delicious almond scent coupled with something quite milky, you know. And I believe that milk is can even be like almond milk, you know. It doesn't have to be anything like they said milk, but it sort of gives me an almond milk, but more of a warm feel, you know, not like a cold almond feel. It is more of a a warm, you know, almondy feel baked cookies a little bit of the the not play dough you know but there's you know almond has this sort of quality which is like nutty slightly maybe slightly of that slight nuance of the play dough but not as intense as shagaf utonka for example you know but it is very well blended very smooth coming back to my comparison with rich tea it gives me a very light fluffy sort of you know um weight if you had a weight if the fragrance had a weight it's going to be something light and fluffy but if it had a texture i would consider it as dense you know they it's, it's dense per the texture of the fragrance you know but weight wise it feels very light and airy weightless you know very weightless very fluffy very creamy milky 
but not like those milk that turn up you know my stomach it doesn't do that to me i consider it more of an almond milk you know than actual milk you know i don't know but that is how it seemed to me it's like a very warm rich dense almond milk cookie um rich you know but also very weightless you know very weightless as in it's not it's it is dense as in texture but when you spray it on there's something that is like light and airy about it you know that is the most realistic way i can describe this scent it also has this very comforting hearty food like comfort hearty comfort food feel to it you know something that you snuggle up like on cold days something like comfort food you know typical comfort food but in this case in the form of a pastry so you have this very warm almond milk maybe with a sprinkle of cinnamon maybe with a sprinkle of cinnamon on top of the warm almond milk and yeah eating that um magritte's rich tea that is the most realistic way i can describe this this sense you know like magritte's rich tea with warm almond milk with a sprinkle of cinnamon i also pick up a slight booziness from this fragrance i don't know where the booziness is coming from probably from the vanilla or somewhere but there's a slight booziness to it you know but not like um overly strong you know it's there when you spray this you get a slight boozy sort of feel to it but it's more of that almond milk cookie you know giving you a very comforting realistic comfort food you know as i described you know i think i'm just repeating myself over and over because it is it is quite linear there's nothing much to it it doesn't really go through a lot of stages whatever you get from the beginning is what you, you end up with that almond milk cookie dough nothing really changes you know like just that that is what it tastes with a slight hint of that business i perceive from the from the top you know and that is going to be this so i would say i love this fragrance i would highly recommend this but just be cautious because i i told my friend to smell this fragrance and she didn't like this fragrance she said it was too milky she felt very nauseous you know so just just like a heads up for people who are not into heavily lactonic fragrances because she didn't like it because it felt too um cloying and too milky to her whereas for me it didn't you know i still to me it's very smooth i don't find it um it doesn't turn my stomach it doesn't give me anything nauseous but she had a problem with that so just to be careful about it you know if you are not into heavily milky lactonic you know fragrances because she found it quite nauseous you know and i guess told her to um scrub it off so just a little heads up when it comes to this but for me personally i think it is a very realistic cookie dough you know fragrance something that you can you know um, enjoy as a comforting or like um a comfort sort of you know fragrance you know it's more of a comfort fragrance than so much dressed up i'm going out it feels like more it gives me a warmth you know like a warmth that you find in comfort foods for example so that is all i can say about this you know and i hope it makes sense i guess hope it makes sense because i couldn't describe this any other way except for how i have described it and um i hope this video found you well please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and i hope to see you in my next one take care bye bye